of controversial stuff in the news today. There is a story out of Cleveland, Ohio, a mother who drank marijuana-based tea during her pregnancy to ease her labor pains has now lost custody of her newborn baby. The mother and child, they listen to the whole story, tested positive for a byproduct of marijuana following the baby's birth. It was not the psychoactive part. It was not the THC, which can make you high. It was just a byproduct. Social workers said she should hold on to her kid. They did not believe the child should be removed from the home. But a judge said, no, we are taking the child. The child is now with relatives. Complicated story. Megan, you have two little girls. How do you feel about this okay, ruling? This is very complicated. And I'm is. listening to the audience and their reactions. So for anybody who's been pregnant out there, we talked about having a glass of wine when you're pregnant. I see people shaking their heads. I had a glass of wine when I was pregnant after my amniocentesis. My doctor said it will relax your uterus. It's a tough procedure. And I'm getting so acknowledgement from the audience because I'm sitting here and oh. hearing this story. It made me cringe a little bit because marijuana is a whole different level. And um, sure that that's true. I, I don't know. I, that's for true. me, she, for me, she researched this, and, and for me, right. but it says it, it says any, even alcohol, even marijuana, mm -hmm. it, you know, she's giving birth. She's at the end of the line here. Oh. Let, let's be honest. She is delivering. It, they, anything seeps through the placenta. It seeps through your uterus. It can get in the bloodstream. Right. It is a but very she, slippery slope. I don't think the child should have been well, taken away. And I'm going to mm -hmm. let you finish. Mm -hmm. But it's a... Um, it's, being a mom, you have to be very selfless. It's a very selfish act, right. I think. Uh, at the very end of the pregnancy, trust me, at nine months you're ready or ten months you're ready to get that baby out. Well, but uh, go ahead. No, because you know, ready. you know, Wait. I love uh, the herbs. But um, <laughs> number one, <laughs> okay. And, 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 and just hearing you, first of all, I didn't even know my uterus has to relax. I didn't even know it was stressed out. <laughs> um, but I don't think you know if it's not. I don't think it was affecting the child. And I think here's the issue with me because I came. I grew up in a family where we had adoptive children and we did foster children. I think they're so quick to take children out of the homes when a child it being in a home. There's some really bad homes. That's not a bad home. She has a two year old child that they let her keep. The judge made a decision. I think the clerk saying that they didn't think the child needed to be out was a big statement. Sometimes people just want to come in and make a judgment call and they make a situation worse. Don't separate a child that's nursing. You know, you know what the problem might be too for the judge, and I don't know. But the judge may be erring on the side of caution and figure, well, what if it turns out these people are drug addicts and then we didn't take the child away? I mean, look, I think what they did was wrong, mm -hmm. but I'm just playing devil's advocate you here. Did, and then something happened. And then we're going to get we blamed. have to listen to the experts, and the experts was the, the social workers. This uh, magistrate is known for doing this, separating right, right. families when they probably before. shouldn't. Mm -hmm. And every, all the experts were saying, don't separate this family. And it is so important for that kid to bond with a family. And now they're so going to, the, to their family's exactly. home where the baby is now. And, and experts also it. say, like, marijuana is not a, it's not harming this child the way but that she I, did it just I have didn't. A question. Is it, but is it here's the thing I, I agree with you I do not think this child should have been removed from the home I'm assuming she was under the care of an OBGYN and most OBGYNs do say that you shouldn't drink and you definitely should not be smoking marijuana. They didn't used to why? say that. They, they used to what? say you have a drink but, right after your interview. My why? friend is why? nursing and she's I having they did. I think I take the did. Like, I did it anyway. What Megan said. Why take why even take but the But here's the other question. We're missing actually a, a very important key here. Why are they testing her for marijuana? There's something bigger to the story. Like, no, they, they don't test the baby. No, the minute they, they test for drugs with any baby to see if the, the, par, no the mother THC had drugs. in this baby I don't, at all. I, okay, I'm, they do. I, okay, and they and do. women do have beer. I have a friend that's nursing. I don't know why I touched my breast just now, but, you know, she, yeah. Of and Excess she's letting some milk down. for the baby. But, I mean, one glass of wine, experts say, is okay. But you don't want to drink a gallon of wine. That's going to be harmful. So and, moderation. And now experts are saying no wine. The latest decision no by right was from the minute you find out you're pregnant, no wine, nothing, zero. Nothing in your body but okay. healthy stuff. Well, so. we're lucky, knock on wood. I, have two I had my girls. kids a while ago, thank God. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's move on. I don't mean to make light of it, I really don't, actually. Okay, how many people have endured that awkward pat down by a TSA agent while rushing to make a flight? Sometimes oh, it feels like it's a bit of a violation. Well, it turns out it might not make any of us any safer. Yesterday, federal watchdogs warned that the TSA agents are allowing weapons to slip through security checkpoints at an alarming rate, up to 95%. It's so disturbing. 
I was in shock actually yeah. because mm -hmm. of all the equipment now they have, and I feel like I'm checked a lot. If you're if you're in a wheelchair or you're elderly or your mother running with kids, they always stop you. I've I, been, I need to check <laughs> you, but I've been stopped so many I, moms. I'm running through the airport. I traveled, you know, with my kids by myself a couple yeah. months ago. They stopped me. They padded me. They got in there. You know what I'm talking? Getting in there, and my two kids are screaming. I had to drink my own breast milk. There's all these things that you what? have to do. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I had to drink my own breast milk. Put it away because I pumped it. I had to give it to yeah. my daughter on the plane. And they make you taste it. To make make sure this taste this something. Like, this is a weird oh. trailer to a movie I don't want to see. Unless you're putting it in somewhere. I don't know, but it's a scary thought. I say check you. Uh, the problem is I'm busty, so I always have an underwire. I'm constantly being pulled out because as soon as they go by my boobs, <laughs> 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 that and and know that you're safe but as opposed to that although they do that and you're not yeah. I don't think that they're trained well enough this is study after study after study not everything's getting through I've always thought that this would be a great uh, position for military and ex-military they're really trained and it would give our ex-military great jobs at TSA an interesting point Lance very good all right